right, everybody. Hello. Uh, welcome. This is Paul here. Uh, I normally don't do this kind of stuff, the, you know, the video game related stuff, but I'm both a musician and a gamer, so I figure, eh, I'll give this a try. This is my attempt at a Let's Play. Um, I've never really done this before, and I never even knew these Left Play things really existed, but I saw a couple online, and I saw Spoonie do one, and it's like, eh, I could do that. I enjoyed watching it. So, um, what I'm going to try and play here is... Um, I have DOSBox running, and in my shoebox here, I have a shoebox full of old games, which I have held on to since I was, like, 12 or something. So, I was leafing through there, and I was like, you know, what could I play? I, you know, I, I mean, solo. I mean, I got a couple of things that me and my brother want to play when, you know, he comes back home. Uh, but I found this, which is a fantastic old game from my past, one of the first adventure games I ever played. And I heard this logo opening millions and millions and millions of times throughout my childhood. This is, um, we're gonna be playing King's Quest V. Actually, oddly enough. Now this is the uh, stalky version, as you see. Have you previously played King's Quest V? You see. Now, this is back in, like, what, 1992, 1993? So, this is when CD games... Actually, this is back when, like, multimedia and CDs were brand fucking new. CD, uh, sound cards and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, all the people who were making games... Warning, this cartoon contains material that may... Interrupt me, why fucking don't so you? Complete this game. Please be sure <laughs> to check your inventory if you decide to skip. See, now they got this poor bastard to read every single text box that pops up. Have you previously played King's Quest V? Uh, are you sure you want to quit? Are you sure you want to adjust your volume? It, uh, all right, it doesn't get that bad, but it gets pretty fucking bad. Believe you me. So now I have played this game since. Oh god, when did it come out? Like '92. I, play, I know I've played it a couple of times, but it's probably been about ten years, top minimum, since I've played this game. So we're gonna go ahead and watch the cutscenes for those who uh, who care. Now. Uh, King's Quest, it, it has a bit of a legacy to it. King's Quest, it started out on, like, back in the old, you know, four-color EGA systems. Who's this? This is, uh, Mordak, I think his name was. And he's a bitch, and he's gonna steal my kids. And we don't get with that. We don't make with the castle stealing. Uh, I can't really remember why... He wants to steal my castle? I mean, it's a nice place and I wouldn't mind it for my own. Zomg. My castle? What has what? happened? Is that the best actor they could find for this guy? Oh no. Not Cedric. Oh. <laughs> One of the worst voices ever. Now, you'll get very used to hearing this guy's voice. Nestled among the trees of the forest sits the wizard Crispin's worn but this cozy This rather cottage. uninterested sounding old man has to sit down in a room and record dialogue for every fucking text box that has possible to pop up for any given situation. Look, I could look at, oh, there's a well over here. Uninteresting? Wrong. A small well. He has something to say about near it. The cottage. See? In a very uninterested monotone voice as well all right so let's get this party started so let's check my inventory i have the old wand, wand. doesn't seem to have any vitality left in it they got pills for that now um all right so i'm gonna go back in the house just to see if he will maybe expose on a few things that we missed by skipping the rest of this cutscene because i couldn't stand anything that has to do with fairy dust this must be crispin don't be wasting your time coming in here. Young man, I've done all I can for you. Now it's up to you. All right, so I guess I had that coming. It's my own well, fault. Well, anyway, I'm not going it's... to be here for a little while. There's an emergency I have to attend to in a neighboring land. Uh-huh. How I'll convenient. I'll try to keep an eye out for you, but this is something you and Cedric are going to have to do yourselves. I wish you the best. King Graham. King Graham. All right, let's go. I appreciate all you've done, Crispin. I'll be on my oh, way now. Wait a sec. 
That portrait of King Graham looks awfully, awfully familiar. Who does he look like? That's weird. All right. Um, all right. So let's see what um, our little buddy Alice Cedric to seems say. to be quietly contemplating their current situation and so is not inclined to indulge in conversation right now. Indulge? I am your fucking king. All right. Let's roll. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot. To, uh, I guess to add a little bit of extra, I don't know, realism, they have everybody walk at a fucking snail's pace. So let's... Let's bump the speed all the way up so we can uh, we can get places going. Let's roll. Hey, hey there we go. Fuck realism. <laughs> I, I remember Graham, this line. watch out! A poisonous snake! A poisonous snake! Uh, I, I still... That's the one line I remember from this game. And I've been quoting it all my life. A poisonous snake! Well, not out loud because it sounds really, really gay. All right, now, Sierra Quest games, uh, well, pretty much all Sierra Quest games, will not hesitate to kill you for curiosity. So I've learned over the years, especially in King's Quest games and games of this kind of nature, is to save very often. All right, so there's a snake up here. And apparently a large, venomous snake blocks Graham's passage to the east. Yeah. Um, is there any way to turn text on so we don't have to listen to this poor sap talk? No, there's not. All right, well, get used to him, guys. He's here for the long haul. Um, it's also very handy in these Sierra games because everything is on a sort of painted backdrop. So everything that's interactable is more pixelated and it really, really stands out. So it's easy to tell what you need to pick up. All right. Um, let's... Oh, man, this is all coming back to me now. Let's go into town. Graham. You gonna be a buddy? See, for some reason, with my cam studio running, it doesn't like me to up the cycles on DOSBox, so it's running. Well, it's pretty much running like a 486 computer would. Yeah, if you're yeah. going into town, I'll just wait for you here. I had a nasty run in with a big dog once, and I feel much safer out here. Stay the fuck away from me, Cedric. Stay. Yeah. Go, you can you chill out out there. Jaunty music. Hey, these guys want those little hoop kids. Oh, children running through the city square. Alright, so I have to go. I'm thinking way back now. Um, I remember. I do remember something in this barrel. Here we go. Alright, so if I Inside the barrel, Graham sees an old yeah. rotting fish. And of course, a rotting fish is the first thing you need on an adventure to save your castle and family. So let's pick that motherfucker up. Graham leans way down into the barrel and removes you, the smelly oh. old fish. Put some life into it, man. Removes the you fish. Okay, um, so I have a fish. I remember that. Phew. Oh. This smelly old fish is disgusting. Is. Thanks for telling me about it. The inside of the barrel is now quite empty. Alright. Um, alright, so let's just see what people in town have to say. I'm sure it's fascinating. How goes this with you, good fellow? My god, he looks familiar. Not well, I'm afraid. Oh, this old wagon's always giving me trouble. Can I help you in any way? Thank you kindly, but I think I can handle it. Alright then, good luck. Oh, that was a... Thank you. With this wagon, I'm going to need it. Well, while I applaud the effort of actually, you know, taking the time to record lines for this, you know, little plot cul-de-sac, uh, it was completely fucking useless. So let's go in this little uh, mystery shop. Say it. Finger bang! Long golden breath, blue eyes, smooth, clean skin, anywhere. You are getting really creepy on me. 